This is Jason City here with yet another tutorial. Today's tutorial we shall, we shall feature the configuration of our DNS server. And if you remember from one of our previous tutorials, we had installed Active Directory domain services and uh, we had also installed DNS server. And we had an, a domain set up and the name of our domain was Jason Lab. Name of our domain was jasonlab.com. And we had in that tutorial set a static IP address. So if we just recap in what we did previously, so you go to our network and sharing center and we go to our local area connection and we have set a static IP address and we are using version IP version 4 and we have set a, st a static IP address of 192.168.0.1 uh, standard class C submit mass and because we are using this server as our DNS server we had a loopback address here as our DNS server okay and we had also went to add rules and we had went through the wizard and we had installed Active Directory domain services and or we had also installed DNS server and file services but for this tutorial what we shall be doing is we shall configure a forward and a reverse lookup zone for DNS service so what we shall do here is go to DNS server go to DNS go to our server and we shall right click on forward lookup zone and click new zone so next and for this tutorial we shall be using a primary zone and so the second option to all DNS server in this domain jasonlab.com yes, and we shall name our zone um, same as zone cine let's name it cine.com and you say next and for this tutorial we shall be you select any second option which is allow both non-secure and secure dynamic update um, in a, a live scenario we probably would select a, a more secure but for a more secure option but for this tutorial what we shall be using is both non-secure and, and secure dynamic updates you say next and you shall say finish and okay so we have silly.com here now and then we shall go to our reverse lookup zone and we shall configure a new zone so you right click and click new zone likewise you walk through the wizard next same as before primary zone same and we are selecting the IP version 4 reverse lookup zone you say next and you're giving it the IP the network ID which is 192.168.0 say next same as before and we say finish all we need to do now is go back to silly.com and we're going to add a new host so right click and click on add a new host and we're going to name our host www and our IP address of our host shall be the IP address of our server 192.168.0.1 and we're going to create associated pointer record and we're going to check out this here and we're going to add host and you see host record has been the host record www.cd.com was successfully created click ok and you click done 
so now if you right click on this just to double check and you go to property and you should see update associate pointer record checked off say okay and if we come back to our reverse zone here we should see a reverse zone a reverse lookup zone the IP address of our server is linked to our forward lookup zone www.cd.com all right and how you would test this we would right click on our domain launch ns lookup it should take us to the command prompt and what we should see here is the name www.cd.com is linked to 192.168.0.1 um, you can also now do a, a reverse lookup by typing in the IP address 192.168.0.1 and it should resolve the server name www.cd.com and if we type in do a forward lookup now by typing in the domain name www.cili.com it should resolve our IP address so our IP address on our server name www.cili.com is linked so let's get out of here so the next step what we shall do is we shall log in with a fine machine or Vista machine and we shall try to remote desktop to our server by using the IP address and then we shall also remote desktop to our server using the server name but before we do that we will need to turn on our remote desktop on our server so we can close this for now and well, the shortest way is to right click on your computer go to property and go to remote setting and yes for this tutorial we shall allow connection from this computer from computers running any version of remote desktop and you say ok and if you want you can actually go in and select the particular users we want so you go to and then you can go to you see the location is already our jasonlab.com so you shall go to advance and you shall go to final and this will be a list of all the all users your, your user group and all our users and you shall just click on administrator for this tutorial it's okay and you see it will be on the line here and you say okay okay so we have add the administrator and what we're gonna do is we're gonna log in to one of our uh, client machine as the administrator and try to remote desktop to our server by using both the IP address and the name and see if our DNS server is working fine. Okay, so we have logged in here to our client machine and it's a Vista machine on the same domain jasonlab.com and we have logged in here as the administrator as the administrator and um, so because that is the account that uh, we had allow on our remote login is administrator so we will now go to try to remove that stuff to our server machine so we shall go to uh, accessories and remote data connection and firstly you shall type in the IP address 
of our silver one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot one and we shall click connect what it should ask us for is the credential to log in so you shall log in as administrator and you shall attempt to log in if we go back to our, our server here this, uh, right so so yeah, we are in here now so if we minimize this button here you'll see we are on our vista machine and we have just remote desktop to our server and we have full control of our server we have login as the administrator remote login as the administrator and we can go have full control of everything on our server administrative tools and what we shall do now we shall log out all right so we're back on our vista machine and what we shall do next is we shall try to remote desktop to our server by using the name of our server so we shall go to start and now we shall go to remote desktop connection once again and you shall type in name of our silver silver 2008 and you shall click connect and again credentials an account and we shall log into JSON lab log finish and then straight to and now we are Login back into our server. Okay, so now we are back into our server again and we have just removed desktop to our server by connecting to the name Silver 2008 or then connecting to the IP address. So we know definitely our DNS server is functional because we can resolve, we can connect to our server via name or via IP address. And again, if we go back to start here, we have full control of our, of our server and we are in administrative tools and we can actually edit any services that we want. We have full control. So, this brings uh, to end our tutorial on dns silver configuration and and join me again for future tutorials